Hello and welcome to today's daily reading. It's the last of the daily Psalms during lockdown and it's in fact the 70th daily scripture reading since the start of this latest lockdown which I think is significant because the number 7 or 70 of course means completion and so as we come to the completion of this series of daily Psalms and to the end of this lockdown and significant milestone, I want to thank you for joining me every day as we have read God's Word together. And I'm pleased to say that this isn't the last of uh, scripture readings together. Uh, in fact, at Kufa, we are committed to do more of this, not necessarily daily, but certainly at various times, including, for example, next weekend, Easter, uh, when we will be reading scripture together to remember the Lord's death and resurrection so please join me for that and of course we have our weekly scripture teachings uh, lessons from Nehemiah continues tomorrow so please join me for that also now let us read today's psalm it's psalm 69 uh, because we previously split one of the psalms so let's read the word of the Lord together this is psalm 69 Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire, where there is no standing. I have come into deep waters, where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty who would destroy me. Being my enemies wrongfully, though I have stolen nothing, I still must restore it. O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you, O oh Lord, God of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be confounded because of me, O oh God of Israel. Because for your sake I have borne reproach, shame has covered my face, I have become a stranger to my brothers and an alien to my mother's children, because zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that became my reproach. I also made sackcloth my garment, I became a byword to them. Those who sit in the gate speak against me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, in the acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of your mercy. Hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood water overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut its mouth on me. Hear me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is good. Turn to me according to the multitude of your tender mercies. And do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw near to my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. You know my reproach, my shame and my dishonour. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart and I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They also gave me gold for my food and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and their well-being a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see, and make their loins shake continually. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let your wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their dwelling place be desolate, let no one live in their tents, for they persecute the ones who have struck and talk of the grief of those you have wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, set me up on high. 
I will praise the name of God with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bull which has horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad. And you who seek God, your hearts shall live. For the Lord hears the poor and does not despise his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and possess it. Also, the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Praise be to God for the reading of his word. We really do get a sense there of some of the despair and sorrow of King David. And yet we hear or we read uh, uh, his testimony that his loving kindness, the Lord's loving kindness, is good. And yet despite those struggles that David was experiencing inwardly, that trouble uh, he was going through, he still praised the name of God. He praised the Lord. And it says in verse 32, And you will seek God with your heart. So, and you who seek God, your heart shall live. Receive those words of life, those promises of life today. That promise that when we seek him, our hearts will live. I pray that the, his word will lift up your hearts and your spirit uh, today. And moving forward also, knowing that we can move forward in confidence that he is faithful to you, just as he is faithful to Israel. It's appropriate, I think, that we complete this series with these final words in this psalm. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and possess it. Also the descendants of his servants shall inherit it. And those who love his name, do you love his name? Those who love his name shall dwell in it. A wonderful reminder that God has not forsaken his promises to the Jewish people. He's not um, neglected his promises to Judah and their descendants, but rather he is faithful to keep that which is promised. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah. Amen. Praise be to God that he who is faithful to Israel is also faithful to you. Thank you again for joining me today and throughout these daily psalms during lockdown. May I just remind you to please join me again tomorrow for the weekly Bible teaching lessons from Nehemiah. But for now, from me, Alistair Kirk, and all the team at Christians United for Israel UK, may God bless you. <laughs>